Hi everybody. Um, so today we're going to work on the Massey 240 again. Um, so the alternator is, uh, I don't think it's charging. Um, it's definitely not getting to the battery, so I'm not sure if we have an open line or what's going on exactly with that, but um, there's a company pretty local that will test alternators. Um, so before I try and track down an open wire in here somewhere from what the previous owner may have done, I'm going to uh, take this off today, take it down, and uh, get it tested. Okay, so um, went and got this checked out, um, took it to a local electrical shop, and they said I'm getting good 14.5 uh, volts coming out of this, so um, the alternator is not the issue. We're gonna connect to a ground, so I've got a ground here. Then we're gonna connect to these blades. Um, I turned the key to this uh, auxiliary position, so we should get a reading here into here. Okay, there you go. So if you guys can see that I'm at 13.35 volts, which is what the battery is at. That's what we should see. Uh, when I test it to the other ones, I'm getting nothing from this one. And then also for the purple line, which is the one that goes to all of my, um, to the dash, like the lights, um, that one's showing nothing as well. So according to the manual, if uh, you get a zero reading, um, it indicates an open circuit in the wiring or faulty wiring um, to the light bulb. Um, so what we'll do is we'll try and track that down, try and find that open circuit and uh, see if we can't fix it. Okay, so what I'm gonna try and do now is if you see up here, um, off the alternator you have the purple line that comes to the indicator light and the other end of that is getting power from the starter switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my uh, fusible uh, test line. I'm going to put the same 20 amp fuse in so you have your 20 amp fuse that goes into here. <clears throat> so we have a 20 amp fuse line that's going to go from the battery to the indicator light which here is an indicator light to test with. And then this side is gonna to go to the purple intake on the alternator. Um, this will simulate this line that should go to here. And then the alternator is being told, yes, you're getting power and we want you to produce power. And then it should send power through the red lines to the starting motor, which pushes into the battery. So that's what we're getting ready to test. Um, if this works, hopefully we'll start getting charged. I'm gonna switch this so that I have a male to male. That way I can plug it into my purple uh, tab on the alternator here, which again goes to the excitement line. And then that side is gonna go into my little testing light. Um, again, this is fused. So when I hook this up to the battery, it should and it does turn that light on. Now, the way the excitement line works is when you turn the key to the uh, on position, it will send power through this to send power to the alternator. That way, um, the alternator has the initial power it needs to get going. Once you start it and this starts producing electricity, it pushes back through this line, which should dim or shut this light off completely. Um, because right now it's running through with the uh, alternator as a negative. And then once it starts producing power, 12 volts coming in each direction makes means the circuit's not gonna run, it's gonna shut itself off. Technically it's gonna run a little bit of power back through ideally, cause you're gonna have more power in the alternator than you do in the battery. So that will probably be pretty dim, but that's the basics of how it works. So we'll try that, see what happens and see if that starts actually letting the battery charge. Cause right now it's not charging um, when the engine's running without this. Okay, so that's showing that it's not putting it through. We'll see if we spin the alternator a little bit more, if that's gonna get the power it needs to shut this off. It should stay out because now it's sending power through. So it's dim, but it's basically out. 
So that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and get the voltmeter and test. Okay, so this is really working like it should. Then when we hook this up, it should show about 14 to 14 and a half volts. So we'll see if that's what it's showing. And I'm at 14.1, um, 14.1314. So it is charging the battery now. So that's definitely working. So uh, that fixed the problem of it not charging. But now all we need to do is to run a line that's going to make this a permanent fix and to put this up in the dash. So we'll do that next. So here's definitely where the original problem uh, started. Uh, so I started to open up this winding a little bit and I have my purple line that's coming in, but this here is the line that's supposed to be attached and it is not attached to anything. Um, also one of my red feed lines is also um, looks like it's been cut. So I'm going to remove all this loom, um, see what's actually going on in here. Okay, because I realized it was a little bit bigger issue maybe here than I thought, um, I'm going to, I went ahead and disconnected the battery. So I don't have to worry about uh, the battery and shorten anything out with these wires that are not connected properly. So now I'm just going to remove the uh, wire ties that are holding this loom in place and we'll pull this back off, see what's going on here. So yeah, here's where the issue was coming from. So this purple line is uh, been severed at some point and they just tried to use um, electrical tape, it looks like, to hold everything together, which is crazy. Oh, there was a connector there, but it just wasn't crimped very well. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's definitely an issue. And then the connector here, and again, not crimped properly on this either. So we're gonna go ahead and get this connected back together properly. Turn on the power, that comes on. engine off it should come back on it does that's awesome so that is um yeah troubleshooting and um rewiring a alternator a couple more things i'm gonna do just get this cleaned up and everything but uh yeah basically that's just tracking down the cut that was in this line here and then um getting a new line run off of a 12 volt that's on only when the starting motor i mean the, the in key is in the on position and then yeah, so now we should be uh, good to go. Lights. So yeah, that is uh, rewinding, running the lines for the alternator um, on a Massey 240. And it's gonna apply to a lot of old tractors. Um, you could do something pretty similar, but um, if you guys have any questions or want to know why I did stuff the way I did it, um, just let me know. Put it down in the comments below. Also, any suggestions you guys have or any other videos you'd like to see or um, if you guys want a video just on more of the electronic stuff, please put that down below as well and I can try and do that for you. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.